Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming. Welcome back to Lies of P. Today I'm covering my first Ergo farm. This one is specifically for the mid game. Ergo farming or souls or runes or whatever resource they're calling it in this game. It's a staple in the souls like genre. Many people just want the resources to be able to buy all the gear they want, trade for all the merchant items and consumables, or just level up hard so they can progress with something that might be stumping them. Of course, in my opinion, I think improving at the game is a lot more satisfying, but if people want a way to generate the main resource of the game, for whatever reason, I don't begrudge it at all. So I'm here with a mid-game method to help exactly those people. With that in mind, what are your best options for farming Ergo fast and tons of it when you're around chapters four to eight in the mid-game? In this video, I have the best in terms of early chapter method around found in chapter five because it's ultra efficient right next to a stargazer and you're going to target one single enemy and it's going to be very smooth and consistent in terms of numbers you'll be netting yourself 60,000 plus ergo an hour for what is a very easy route and a very quick one at that and one you can make even easier and more effective pushing its hour per ergo value even higher so let's get into it. Before I can show you the route though, you need to know there's two main aspects to ergo farming you will want. You need to know how to maximize your ergo per minute, meaning you need the passive ergo increases of this game. They literally increase how much ergo you get per kill, so it's pretty important. If you don't have these yet, they should become your top priority during your natural progression of the game. You'd ideally get them before wasting any time farming ergo and simply getting less ergo for your time. There's two to know about. First, there's the P organ upgrade for ergo increases per kill as an upgrade there. To get this, you'll need to use one quartz to upgrade your P organ. You find the increased ergo upon eliminating an enemy benefit under the item type tab. This is a very early game upgrade. And as you continue down the organ of P path, you'll actually get higher levels and there might be more options in the future in terms of ergo. For now though, this is kind of the bare minimum, the first upgrade to increase how much ergo you get per kill. And you're going to want that before you ever do any ergo farming because otherwise it's a waste of time. After that, there's a second impactful ergo increaser, an equipable item that literally boosts your ergo gains. It's called the Hunter's Amulet. So whenever the Hunter's Amulet is equipped, you will get more ergo. It's dropped by a mini boss found in the Lorenzini arcade basement. The issue with this is that it's found in the later game, in chapter seven, as you really get into that second half of the game. I can't really recommend or demand you have this item before farming in mid game. It's not an issue, but you need to be aware of it. The mini boss is basically a big jester that ambushes you down in the wine cellars near the arcade basement stargazer. So the moment you hit chapter seven, you should go get that. And then you can come back to the method today or use another one. But let's finally cover the actual farming method then. Found at the second stargazer of act five called the Malum District. From the stargazer on your left is the Red Lobster Inn, which is actually locked initially when you first see it. You want to unlock this by basically following the main path of this area. Just follow the main route until it eventually leads you into the Red Lobster via an open door. Door. I'm pretty sure you'll struggle to miss this since it's truly the main path that leads you around until you eventually come to the other side of the Red Lobster going in and then you can unlock the door on the other side. So upon entry, you'll need to cross the ground floor to find the locked door that reveals the original Stargazer that you were standing at earlier. To do that, you need to pass through the main room, which has a bunch of enemies and a respawning strong enemy, which is actually the target of this farm method. Once we've opened and unlocked the door, though, we can really get this Ergo farm going. From the Stargazer, then, Go inside this now unlocked door and head left into that main room. There you'll see a stronger enemy pathing to the middle of the room and there'll be a bunch of weaker enemies around it. Your task is basically kill them all and do it as fast as possible. So in general, you want to really commit your restorable resources to this. Don't mess around. Through this method, you will kill all the enemies and get about 900 ergo in about a minute. And of course, you can clear this room faster if you get better and more efficient at clearing up the room. This number is just the P organ upgrade as well. So if you had the amulet equipped at the same time, the hunter's amulet, you'd be getting even more. Now, because the location is so close to the Stargazer, we can, in fact, just turn and run all the way back to the Stargazer and reload really quick. It's actually a lot faster than, say, using the item to take you back to the Stargazer because it's so close. Now, if you're able to clean this run up in roughly 60 seconds or less, which is very doable, you can push this method to roughly 60,000 ergo per hour, which is very good in this early game. I'd say my average time was around 45 seconds, if even that. So yeah, 60,000 is about right. However, if you're able to kill just the big enemy in a very quick time, it's actually better, way better. It will be less ergo overall because you're only killing the one enemy. It's 512 ergo for the big enemy, specifically with just the first P organ upgrade. The enemy fight should take you between 
between 10 to 20 seconds compared to say that nearly full minute on a slower clear of the full room. If you can kill it in say 15 seconds and then use the remaining 15 seconds to reset to the next fight, that'd be 1,024 ergo a minute, pushing us much closer to 62,000 ergo an hour. And honestly, if you can kill the enemy faster, you will be able to get more than that. My cleanest route to clean this up would be to use the flame grindstone buff as it is vulnerable to the fire damage. This would buff my weapon with fire as I move to the entrance where the enemy is at the same time. Then I'd use the specific legion arm, falcon eyes, basically giving me a cannon on my arm to range blast the enemy that's slowly pathing to the middle at that point. The cannon blast can be used twice before the enemy can even attack and reach you, dealing good damage to warm up the fight while also sort of drawing the big enemy on its own over to you so we're not dealing with all the other enemies unnecessarily which is ideal with those two blasts though the enemy will reach us and go for either a long range double stab or it will use a fury attack which would probably be more ideal you can dodge these sure but i think it's more time efficient to just perfect guard them which you can cheese by using a handle that has the absolute defense fable art like me what that does is it increases the time at which your perfect guard window sort of works, making the perfect guards super easy, whatever attack it chooses to do. After you land that, you can then do a fully charged heavy attack to deal both good damage and more than likely stagger it, which leads to then a quick fatal attack punish, followed up by potentially another charged heavy. All in all, this skill for me is extremely consistent. I can do the exact same thing that I just outlined every single time with no error, never getting hit, and that's pretty quick. More importantly, important is that it's consistent. I never mess things up. I'm never dying. I'm never taking any damage. So my method here is really consistent, but I don't think it's maybe the fastest way you could do it because say the fatal attack, it's quite a long, slow animation. If you're able to streamline this even faster, but also keep it, you know, consistent enough, you could get even faster kill times. For me though, I can easily kill this elite enemy twice in a minute. And that's what it's all about. We're talking about something that is ultimately really quick and very easy to run, especially when you get a method down to the T like I did. It's certainly one of the best ergo farm methods in the mid game. And since it's act five, we're able to access it early enough in a new playthrough. You'll get less ergo per hour than if you had that hunter's amulet as well, of course, but the method's still gonna be potent and effective when you first reach it with just the P organ upgrade. A thousand ergo plus a minute is nothing to ignore. It's only gonna be better when you have the hunter's amulet and then you can come back here if you want to. But yeah, that's everything about this farm and how to increase its value my different methods for it i hope this can skyrocket your ergo amount and hopefully get you whatever you're looking for in this mid game we might come back for future videos for more ergo farming methods if there's a need for it so on that note let us know if you found any other good ergo farms in the mid and even late game for now though i've been hollow you've been you thank you for watching see you next time Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.